Okay, here we are, start of the race, race one of the weekend, final weekend of the season. Got a pretty good launch for me there, I can't complain. I think maybe got past one or two riders maybe. Then I can hear a bike behind me, you might be able to hear it. Just closed the door a bit, but left a bit of room. Coming to turn two, you need to get forward, so I'm gonna try and get underneath this yellow R1. And I've done well there. And then on the outside, Mr. Bull, there he is. He's been caught in between me and Freddie, and he's squeezed me, rubbed me. I think I've lifted him into Freddie, and having not had enough of it, he's then lifted Freddie again into turn three. But you know, he <coughs> didn't hit him, did he? You can't really complain about that. And then I've got past the yellow R1, and uh, we're into the race now. And I am struggling a bit, to be fair. Um, qualifying. I fucked it then I went out full wet set up and it was dry drying track and it just got drier and that's where it was. We started P13, I think we're uh, up in the top 10 now. And you can just see there down that straight, I'm losing so much time onto that straight. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But uh, we're just going to speed up this middle bit because I'm just sort of maintaining behind these guys. <clears throat> I don't, it's weird, like when I was at this track at the GP circuit, I set an amazing PB. For me second quicker i was looking forward to this round thought i was going to go quicker my ideal laps have been in the 47s my pbs are 48.4 and i haven't got well i suppose i got near i did a 48.8 so you know 0.4 off but really i'd hope to be um in low 48s if not hitting the 47s i've done so many ideal laps in the 47s um just can't get clear. i'm not feeling the front of this bike this weekend so I'm not really mega confident um, and that's maybe caused me a problem onto the back straight you see into that corner I was up behind these guys and they pulled down the straight so now on the back of the circuit I've got to do all the work um, I just can't figure it out uh, so I'm going to make a few changes for the next race but here we go here's Seamus McGlynn on his uh, new engine in that R1 it seems to have just come back to us so we've got past him and uh, I can't remember this guy on the green Kawasaki, but we're going to uh, obviously try and get, back, get past him. But it's hard to overtake here if you're at all similar pace. Like third to eighth or ninth, everybody is between 48.6 and 48.8. So all on the same lap time. Um, and we just look at this here. These guys are just going to walk away from me down the straight. I've got a pin. You see, it's on the traction. Um, this is a problem with the Ducati. That corner there, the bike's, the back's always moving. You've got to drift it, you just get on the throttle and let it drift. And um, that traction control in the lowest setting, other than off, just won't allow you to do it. And it's got the upgraded Ducati traction control settings, but it's still too invasive. It is quite frustrating. Um, not enough uh, many enough parameters in that. Um, but I think this Kawasaki rider, he's just made a small error in there. I don't know if that's a yummy, I'm not 100% sure. But we seem to have a bit more pace there than him, so we're going to have to work on the next lap, build in there, get a good drive and get underneath him and try and get to the right in front of us. Just in front of us, there's that uh, kid on the 675, right, MV Augusto. Look at the drive he's getting down that straight. Uh, and the Kawasaki player, I mean, look, he has pulled a whole heap of me. So, again, got to work on this section now. Had a bit more speed through there. We're doing well on the throttle here. I think I'm losing. <coughs> I think I'm losing like half a second down that straight, just so I'm not going out the corner. Um, and that would put us into uh, the 48 or low 48s, nudging the 47s. Um, so here we go. He's made a bit of a mistake here. We just we're going to have a look. We're having a look, and we're ducking underneath him. And then we're going to try and catch up. Luke Warrington. Again, he's having a great race weekend, isn't he? He's done the rookie cast, he's won that on Pubman, and he's won that this season, and a bit more track time, you know, really goes to uh, show round here, doesn't it? Um, so we're going to get the cover. That's just pulled on me there. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do for race two and three. I'm thinking the bike is turning well for me. I can't really complain about it turning but I need a bit more confidence from the front and what I've done for this race I've shortened the wheelbase well, the shortest wheelbase I've ever ran something like 580 millimeters um, which when you bring the rear wheel into the center of the bike obviously the, it gets more weight on the back than it had in the, in the past um, so I am toying with the idea 
of lifting the back, which will then put a bit more weight onto the front, so maybe give you a bit more feel. And this bike is really good. You can make these adjustments, it still turns really well, actually, with this uh, swing arm position. Well, this is a 22 bike, you've only got one swing arm position, but it's amazingly flexible in this setup. Uh, and also, I'm probably going to drop the front gear side, gear side, just to give the front tyre a bit more sort of movement, which when I'm going to call might just give me a bit more confidence. But as is always the way, you're racing, right? And when you play with your setup, if you go the wrong way, what you want is a session to go out and test it. Have you gone the wrong way? Have you gone the right way? Uh, and we don't have that. So I mean, we've got nothing to lose. But I think we qualified seventh. <coughs> Uh, for race two, um, which is obviously an improvement on 13th, it's very close for that final podium spot. Um, so I think if we can make a change and if it improves us, then we're going to be getting on that podium. And I need to be going with those front two riders. They were um, Josh and Nicky Wilson. Um, if you can go with them, you get the pull. Although, you know, these guys here just riding about the same pace as me, I should have been able to get into them, but I've really got to work on, as I said, that final corner. So we're coming down here, we're doing all good here, get out of this corner, get out, well there's Jack Crouch who pulled him in as well as a group, and I think I'm all right through this corner, I generally pull people in a bit here, there we go, looks like we're pulling them in, and I'm pulling them in, and then from here, something goes wrong. I think, looking at it, I'm pulling a tighter line, so my corner speed is maybe lower, and they've got momentum, and then they're just going to drive away from me. The Kawasaki, the 675MV Augusta and the uh, Blue Collins R1. And then I've got to make that time back up. So it's at a quarter of a second, half a second, I lose down there, out of that corner. Uh, and I've got to make it back up on the brakes here. But I'm not close enough because I've lost time down the back straight. So we're going to hope. I mean, I'd like the next race to be wet actually because I've got a good wet setup and I've just put some good wet tyres on the bike. Um, but it looks like it's going to be dry on Sunday. Um, but as I say that, it's 9 o'clock in the morning and my windscreen is wet. It's probably going to be annoying, not wet, not dry. Look, Luke's had a look there, did he? And then uh, Mr. Paul's come back around him. So this is a good battle at the end of this race. It's just trying to dig in, trying to get the throttle. You can see the track control is just on all the way through there. And we're getting good drive. The bike's nice and stable. We've got a good line. This is the last lap now. These two guys are having a look at each other and they've just pulled that gap out of the shirt. Can't get to now, I'm going, can I, can I lunge from here? But that's so far back and uh, the ball just defends his line. There's nothing for me there. So the next opportunity I'm going to get is 30s, which is not this left, but the following one. I'm quite good in there, but I've had a little look here, which is a compromise. It's great. And you know, there's nothing going on now. Oh, you know, see, that's, I had a good drive there, even though I compromised my line. If I had compromised my line, there's an opportunity for me there, so I've missed that one. And then this is the weakest spot. Even uh, at the beginning of the season, I was losing drive with the suspension set. But this bike is good, stable, drives great. I'm doing something wrong through that corner. Um, so we're probably going to speak to the legend that is Mike Edwards, get him to give us a bit more distance coaching, um, see what he says about that corner. I suspect I'm going into it. Um, hopefully he can confirm that. There's the boys, there's Jackie Croucher, what a legend, great race by him. And hopefully if it's dry on Sunday he will come back for another race and we can try and get amongst it and it'll be good. And uh, looking forward to it, so uh, thanks very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the season following the Ducatis.